Good morning, children. Are you all all right? Are you safe and healthy? Hope all of you all are in good health. All right. So today we are coming to the last uh, lesson of the for this term. I mean, not the last lesson for this term. We are coming to the last lesson for the grammar. Punctuation. What is this punctuations? You are learning from the first standard, isn't it? Yes, you know that. Yes, punctuation marks, comma, full stop, semicolon, colon, inverted comma. Then what is question mark? Yes, these are all known as punctuation marks. Iphen, full stop is used. Where do we use full stop? Yes, this is full stop. Where do we use full stop? Yes. When a sentence is completed, we use full stop. And a sentence is completed to show that the sentence is completed and it is just got a meaningful sense in it. That is called a sentence. And when that sentence is completed, when it is finished, we use a full stop. But many of you all do not use full stop. I do not understand why. After the sentence is completed, you Put a dot like this. This is called the full stop. This is known as the full stop. Okay. The next one is comma. Comma. To separate a sentence, if it is a long sentence, we separate a sentence by sometimes you use a comma after yes and no. It is a must after using yes or no. You have to put a comma. Then begin the sentence, and if it is a sentence which is stated by a person or someone, you put that in the inverted comma. Now first you learn about comma. This is known as what is this? Look at that sign. Yes, in your book there is that is known as comma. C O W M A comma. Not comma. Comma is different. This is comma. Okay, this is known as comma. What is it used for? Yeah, between nouns and pronouns and phrases, if there is in it, we separate it by using a comma. What's the third one? Yes, <clears throat> third one is what? Let us look at it. Question mark. This is a question mark. When it is an interrogation sentence, interrogation sentence. At the end of the sentence, you use this simple. This is known as question mark. Question mark. What does this interrogation sentence? Yes, asking something. What is your name? Where are you going? How old are you? Who is your father? What did you do today? Why are you late? All this is interrogation sentence. So at the end of the sentence, you use what is this? Yes, you use the question mark. That is known as question mark. Yes. Now the next one is exclamation mark. Exclamation mark. What is exclamation mark? We use exclamation mark for an interjunction or a command. We use a, what is this known as exclamation mark for an interjunction or a command. That is when we use what is it? Yes. What is this exclamation mark? Now apostrophe. This like a small comma that is known as apostrophe. <coughs> it's known as apostrophe like to show you use mothers belonging to mother m o t h e this is my mother's sari or oh, this is my mother's pen this is my father's car f a t h e r and you use apostrophe as it show the 
show the position. Yes, that is, you use apostrophe. <coughs> so question mark is used when you ask a question. Apostrophe, even the things which are said with feelings, you also you use like, oh, how, wow, and all that, you use apostrophe. Okay, so these are the, what are these? These are known as the, known as the punctuation marks. So not to forget, full stop, after the sentence completion, if it is an interrogation sentence, you put question mark. If it is an yes, sentence which using yes or no, and when it is quotation mark, I forgot. This is quotation marks. Like in a sentence you are saying, Ram said. So Ram said, you put a comma, then the whatever is Ram said, that will be put into the quotations. Ram said that he was leaving. So Ram said, you put a comma, and he was leaving, you put it in quotations. These are called quotations, okay, quotation marks. My pen, I think it is almost finishing. I'll have to get a new pen. All right. Let that all go. Listen now. So, you can just read through it. These are the explanations which I gave you about the past. I mean, about the, about what punctuation mark. So, let's start doing it from page number 88. Keep your books ready. You have to use capital letter where it is necessary, you have to use full stop, you have to use comma, you have to use exclamation marks. So many things you have to do it in this page. Let us see what all you need to do. Okay, the first one. Use the correct punctuation marks and capital letters to rewrite these sentences. Whenever we write a sentence, we begin with the capital letter and also we end with the full stop. And if it is an interrogation sentence, you use question mark. And if it is Yes, a sentence which is said by somebody. Yes, you said or she said. You put a comma there. Then put the rest of the words in quotation marks. Okay, let's just begin. He respects elders. Who oh, you begin H with capital letter. Respects elders. After that, full stop. Yes, he respects elders. So, first capital letter, end of the sentence, full stop. How beautiful the sun is. Begin with capital letter. Beautiful the sun is after that, exclamation mark. Yes, first capital letter, then exclamation mark. My teachers, now it is written here teachers, like showing many teachers. My teacher's name is Miss Sandra. My capital M, then Teachers, you write, yes, apostrophe after teacher. What do you write? First, what do you must write? Yes, my capital letter, M should be capital. I think there if I write, you may not able to see it. The burning. So the fourth one, what should you do? The third one, yes, M capital, my capital, then Teachers, it's given. Teachers, say you have to write T-E-A-C-H-E-R and then apostrophe S. You can't write teachers. Her name is Miss Sandra. Here capital letter Miss. Then what is her name? Sandra, is it? Yes. Her name is Sandra, capital S. S-A-N-D-R-A. -S and full stop. Okay? Oh, right. Now the fourth one. The teacher said, why are you so late? Now the teacher said, capital letter for the, T capital. The teacher said, after said, comma, the teacher said, comma, then put it in inverted comma, Inverted comma. What is it? The teacher asked. Not teacher said. The teacher asked. Not teacher said. Take uh, care of it. Teacher said. Teacher asked. Comma. Teacher asked. Comma. Then what is the next one? Yes. Teacher asked. No, then in inverted comma. Why are you so late? Here. 
y or u so late l a t e and question mark because she is asking why are you so late the teacher asked why are you so late it has to come in inverted comma and then question mark fifth one oh what a wonderful day see oh after o exclamation mark what a wonderful day again what is it after that yes again it is a exclamation mark what a wonderful day next one i love to eat oranges i capital love to eat oranges then full stop now the next one you have to just put the punctuation marks sunil loves to help his dad cook dinner it's a statement so you put a full stop what do you think sunil and his dad will cook tonight it's an interrogation sentence there you put a full stop oh no what punctuation mark should be put there yes exclamation mark the third one exclamation mark my mother yelled my mother yelled comma then why why don't you why don't you tell me i am late question mark why don't you tell me your ah uh, that why don't you tell me that i am late i am late means i can't you inform that's what next one <clears throat> fourth one would you like to play tennis with me this is an interrogation sentence yes question mark please close the door it is a statement full stop now javed won the game and shouted it has to be put in quotation marks javed won the game and shouted after shouted comma hooray exclamation mark and close the yes quotations now again let's go to the park and have a picnic tomorrow it is a yes what is this it is a statement which is said let's go to the park and have a picnic tomorrow put it in quotations and close the quotation and after tomorrow put full stop ouch when you hurt or when somebody hit you you just with a pain or with that feeling you say ouch what it's an interrogation no then ouch what should you put there yes exclamation mark after ouch exclamation mark the stove is hot then full stop ninth one do you have any money left in your pocket what kind of a sentence yes interrogation so you put a question mark i stayed up midnight yesterday reading a book i stayed up it's a statement so you got to put a full stop now this sentence this passage you just read and try try to find where you have to put punctuation marks where it is interrogation question mark if it is a statement uh, you should put a what is it yes it has to be put into quotations and if it's a complete sentence full stop and if a sentence which is having like said told put a comma and put them in yes in inverted comma let's come to the next page that is page number 90 read this passage and try and do it all right now this is also same thing you have to put it into quotations not quotations i am in punctuation marks sheila told her mom so first you write she had told her mom then comma then next you have to put it into quotations okay that she wanted to count all the ducks in the pond first put a comma then put that into quotations last full stop ajay said he was going to try to get into the football team ajay said comma then the rest of the things have to be put it into quotation and close a quotation then full stop miss 
Mrs. Vijay told the postman. Mrs. Vijay told the postman, comma, then put the rest of the words into quotations, that she hoped he had a wonderful Diwali. Full stop. Okay. Peter asked his classmate, comma, Peter asked his classmate Arjun, after that comma, not Peter asked his classmate, comma, Peter asked his classmate Arjun, comma, rest, you have to put it into quotation, if he could borrow a pencil and question mark, yes. You have to rewrite the sentence, okay. Maya thinks she is getting a cold. Now, Maya thinks she is getting a cold. Maya says, Maya says, quotation after that, I think I am getting a cold. Full stop. Okay. So, do this. When you understand where you have to put the correct punctuation mark, you will not make a mistake. See, when you say some statement is said by somebody, after that, you put a comma, then put the statement into the quotations. And if it is an interrogation, at the end of the sentence, you put a question mark. And if it is a sentence which is said with a feeling, you put a exclamation mark. And if it is a meaningful sentence, complete sentence, you put a full stop. Okay? So, see you in the next class. Please revise. You will start revising very few lessons only for this term. So, please revise and take care of yourself. See you in the next class. Until then. Bye-bye and have a wonderful day.